Hi, my name is Sam and I work for London Wildlife Trust. I'm here today at the Centre for Wildlife Gardening to talk to you about birds' nests. I've got three different types of nest produced by three different types of bird. As you probably know, it's really important that if you find a nest that you leave it well alone. And that's because if you disturb the nest, you might cause the parent birds to abandon it. We only took these ones because we were absolutely sure that the birds had finished with them. The first nest I'm going to talk to you about today is this one, which is a blackbird nest. Blackbirds make neat nests out of grass, leaves and other vegetation, bound together by mud. The nests are built by the females alone, and they like to build them in dense vegetation, particularly in spiky or evergreen plants like holly, ivy or hawthorn. Blackbirds are monogamous, which means when they form a pair, they will usually stay together for as long as they both survive. Female blackbirds lay four to five eggs that are blue-green with brown speckles, and she sits on them to keep them warm. When they hatch, both the male and female bird will hunt the worms and insects to feed the chicks. This little nest was made by a male wren and is known as a cock nest. The male wrens make up the seven of these unfinished nests each year, and the females choose which one they want and then line it with soft things like moss and feathers so that it can be used to lay eggs in. Unlike blackbirds, wrens are polygamous, which means that male wrens hold territories with two, three or even four females, each with their own nest. I found this nest while cleaning out bird boxes in a nature reserve. I clean out the boxes each winter before the birds become active to stop the build-off of parasites. This nest was left over from last spring and sadly the eggs never hatched. They were laid by a blue tip, which is a small bird with bright blue plumage. An old fashioned name for this bird is the sissy blue bonnet. This nest is insulated with some strange green fluff, which I assume must have come from a tennis ball. Birds use all sorts of things to line their nests, including dog hair and even old cigarette butts. Today we've looked at three different birds and the nests that they build, but there are over 200 bird species that breed in the UK, and they make all kinds of different nests. Like this big messy heron's nest, or this one built by a pair of kittiwakes on a sheer cliff face from seaweed and mud. I hope you'll all agree that birds are fantastic builders, especially as they do all their building using only their beak. Hmm, I wonder what kind of bird made this nest? 